Defensive gun uses are so common that they happen almost daily. Well, I, I should preface that and say that I'm sure that they do happen daily one way or another and don't hit the news daily. But it is rare that the incident is caught on camera and even rarer that a blue state doesn't turn around and harass the gun owner. And in this case, there are two different things being reported, so unfortunately it's still possible that the gun owner is looking at charges. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this story, a would-be robber in Chicago broke a jewelry case and tried to make off with $100,000 worth of merchandise when a concealed carry holder turned on him and shot him. And because it happened in a jewelry store that's been burglarized a few times, we have it on video. In the video, a man in a red shirt just walks up to the counter and began smashing it in by what looks like punching it? Which frankly makes me wonder what the fuck he was on. One of the employees draws his weapon, was lucky because he was apparently not carrying in the chamber, but still managed to shoot at the robber twice, who fell out of the door, came back to pick up something he dropped, and then fled to a nearby subway platform. At first look, it might seem pretty cut and dry, but again, there are competing reports as to what happened after. Now, before we get into the rest of the details, I think that this is a great opportunity to tell you all about the attorneys on retainer, as the rest of this story perfectly highlights how important it is to have a lawyer on your side when it comes to anything related to firearms. We also know from the Alan Coley case that even with self-defense insurance, a lawyer isn't always guaranteed. The Attorneys for Freedom law firm has stepped up with their Attorneys on Retainer program to try and fill that void of making sure that you're covered for legal defense if a self-defense incident happens. It's literally a program to retain legal counsel rather than an insurance program that has all kinds of exclusions in the fine print. Attorneys on Retainer has you covered for misdemeanors, felonies, appeals, and even bail bonds. It doesn't even matter if you were in a gun-free zone. Unlike insurance companies, their only requirement is that the incident happened after purchasing coverage and that you reasonably acted in good faith like the guy in this video. So switch over from your existing self-defense coverage, head on over to my link in the description and use code LIBERTYDOLL to get $50 off your signup fee today. So now the kicker that I'm sure you've all learned to expect from places like Chicago, the offender was shot in the abdomen and the butt and was released. According to the original report, charges against the shooter and the robber were both pending, but the gun owner was arrested. Okay. The shop in question has been robbed before, potentially causing the owner and their employees their livelihoods, and the city, according to some sources, is arguing that the gun owner had no grounds because one, it was defense of property and no one was in danger, and two, the robber had turned away. But what's interesting is some folks are claiming that the gun owner is being charged with aggravated assault, while CBS says that both the gun owner and the robber aren't facing any charges, at least not yet. The police have said that they are still investigating, so there is still room for this to get ugly. And CBS, of all people, are arguing it as a clear-cut case of self-defense, which I did not see coming. According to CBS and their legal analysts, the would-be robber had something in his hand that you can't really see in the video, and the moment he started breaking the case, he was committing a forcible felony. And also, if someone is smashing open a jewelry case next to me with some kind of weapon, I'm not going to consider them harmless and wait to see if they turn on me. Illinois state law clearly says a person is justified in the use of force to prevent imminent death or commission of forcible felony. And the category of forcible felony includes robbery and burglary. Despite all these social media armchair analysts who claim otherwise and say it isn't legal to defend property with the use of force. If we are indeed going by the letter of the law, he should be absolutely in the clear. But that doesn't mean anything in Chicago these days now, does it? I sure hope that this guy avoids charges and that if he doesn't, he is able to get a top-notch lawyer. So that is it for today's video on a self-defense gun use. Please like, share, and subscribe if you are new here. Ring that notification bell and leave a comment down below to help out the video in the algorithm. And as always, thanks for tuning in and happy shooting.